Summary of the Monkey's Paw by W. W. Jacobs Mr. White and his son Herbert are playing chess inside their house as a storm rages outside, and Mrs. White is knitting by the fire. Mr. White says that he doesn't think their guest will show up on such a wild night. Herbert wins the game, and Mr. White yells about how bad it is to live in such a remote place when it rains. Sergeant Major Morris, an old friend of Mr. White's, comes to visit. Morris tells his family stories about his trips to India while he was living abroad. Mr. White remembers that Morris told him about a monkey's paw not too long ago. Morris says that the preserved monkey's paw came from a fakir, an Indian holy man. The fakir put a spell on the paw to teach people that fate controlled everyone's lives and that those who tried to change fate would suffer. The spell lets three different people each have three wishes. Mr. White asks Morris if he has used all three of his wishes. Morris says that he has it, and the first person to have it used the third of his three requests to kill himself. Then Morris throws the paw into the fire, but Mr. White stops it from getting burned. Morris tells him to throw it away. Instead, Mr. White chooses to keep it, and Morris tells him that there will be consequences if he wishes upon it. The group sits down to eat dinner and then goes back to listening to Morris's stories about India. For a while, they forget about the hand. When Morris leaves, Herbert makes fun of his father for giving Morris a small amount of money for the paw. Herbert says that Morris must have made up the story, just like he does with all of his other tall tales. Mr. White says that he doesn't know what he would wish for because he already has everything he needs. Herbert jokes that his dad should ask for 200 pounds because that would be enough to pay off the family's mortgage, and his dad agrees. Mr. White screams and drops the paw, saying that when he made his wish, he saw it twist. Herbert says that the money doesn't show up right away. The next morning, the money still hasn't shown up, so Herbert heads to the workplace where he works. Even though she and Herbert laughed about how silly it was to believe in the paw's spell, Mrs. White is now eagerly waiting for a friend who might bring the money. She is excited to meet a well-dressed stranger who comes to the White's house. He tells Herbert that he works for the business that owns the plant where Herbert works. He says that Herbert died after getting caught in the machinery at the plant. He says that the company is not to blame for their son's death, but he can give the White's money to make up for it. The amount is 200 pounds. Mr. White falls to the floor as Mrs. White screams. The Whites bury their son in a graveyard two miles from their home. After a few days, the pair accepts their sadness and barely talks to each other. About a week after the funeral, Mrs. White gets the idea to use one of the last two wishes on the paw to bring Herbert back to life. Mr. White hesitates first saying that the paw seemed to work before because it was just a chance and then saying that she wouldn't want to see her son now because he's been dead for 10 days and the accident that killed him made his body look horrible. But his wife begs him to make the wish, so Mr. White makes a wish on the paw that their dead son would come back to life. No one shows up while the whites wait. They finally go to sleep for the night. All of a sudden, there are three knocks on the front door. Mrs. White thinks the person is Herbert. She runs to the front door, but she can't open it because she can't reach the bolt. Mr. White looks for the monkey's paw quickly because he knows he can't let whatever terrible thing is outside into the house. He gets his third wish when he finds the paw. The knocking stops all at once. By dragging a chair to the door, Mrs. White can reach the bolt. She opens the door and lets out a sad cry. Mr. White runs out the door and to the gate of their land, but when he gets there, all he sees is an empty road. About the author W. W. Jacobs was born in London into a family that belonged to the working class. His father was employed as a manager at the South Devon Wharf. His father's job had a big effect on Jacobs's later work, as he became famous for writing funny sea stories and jokes. As a young man, Jacobs worked as a clerk in the General Post Office's savings bank department. He started writing as a hobby and a way to make extra money at this time. After being published in a few magazines, Jacobs realized that writing was his true love. He felt good enough to quit his job in the civil service and focus on writing full-time. 
He was a conservative in politics, and his marriage to Agnes Eleanor Williams, with whom he had five kids, was difficult. During his writing career, Jacobs released a number of short story collections. In 1931, he put out a huge collection of his work called Snug Harbor. However, The Monkey's Paw is the story that most people remember him for. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.